here we go I'm in uh, cat d11t pushing cat 651 scrapers for those who don't know the 651 is the same size as a 57 but it only has a single engine in the front this d11 brand new is roughly two million dollars this one's not new but she's in good shape the cab's not very clean because it doesn't have uh, its own operator who stays with it so there's a bunch of different operators who run it which I don't really like but it is what it is so that's why it's a little bit dirty also for those who don't know 651 holds 44 cubic yards or 32 cubic meters the cut that I'm doing right now it's a long cut um, it's not very deep. I'm trying to kind of clean up and go over to the right hand side where there's more cut. Um, so I'm doing a, a long cut and at the end in the direction that we are uh, going right now. The cut gets deeper because after time uh, the excess dirt called tailings from the, the scrapers when they pick up their load all kind of bunches up at the end. But you should always push downhill but when it's flat, this sometimes happens. If you look out the window on the right hand side, you'll see the blade. It's shaped kind of funny. It's not a normal blade for pushing dirt. In fact, it's not made for pushing dirt at all. Um, it works a lot different than a dirt blade. Um, on the top of this blade, it has a bunch of springs. What those springs do is uh, lessen impact when you tag up with the rear of the scraper. Also on this blade it has a special spot where you're supposed to push the buggy from. So the way that you kind of line up and get that spot, if you pull up to the rear of the scraper and put uh, your edge right on the ground and begin to push and slowly lift up, um, you'll find that sweet spot right in the center of the blade. Now pushing these things isn't uh, just you lift your blade up and you push. Um, as the scraper cuts or lifts his bowl up, it moves the back of the beaver tail. You have to compensate for that. A push cap paired with a scraper, they're made for doing short but deep cuts. Um, being pushed by a high powered dozer like this, um, the scraper can sink his bowl and get a load really quick in a short distance. Versus a 657, they need a really long cut to uh, self-load or push-pull and get a full load on. With such a long, shallow cut, I'm in second. He doesn't have to cut very much, so uh, there's less friction and it takes less power to actually push him through the dirt um, so I'm going to go in second for a bit until we get up to the end where I'm going to lift him up a bit and he's going to take a deeper cut there we go now I'm in first let's get a load on this let's say you're in the push cat and you want to take a deep cut but the guy in the scraper isn't putting his bowl down all you have to do is lift your blade up what that will do is lift up his entire back end and his tires off the ground what that will do will force his edge up ahead straight into the ground forcing him to take a deep cut 